hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel this is Sriraj Melith and in this video we are gonna start a new series called react.js tutorials so we'll be focusing on javascript and uh, the javascript library called react.js so we'll be building beautiful web apps using react.js so come let's quickly get started i'm gonna use the vs code editor firstly what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create a folder so in this folder I will keep all my react projects so I am creating a folder react.js then I am dragging and dropping this folder into the VS code so you can see the folder has come here next I am opening a new terminal uh, from the terminal menu if I click ctrl J the terminal will disappear ctrl J is the shortcut for terminal to open when it comes to Mac it's command J so right now the terminal has opened and I am in the path desktop slash react.js so right now i have the react.js folder here in my folder explorer as well as react.js folder in the terminal so inside this folder i gonna install the react.js so we are gonna set up the react.js using wheat uh, as the build tool for that i gonna search wheat react in google so in wheat react we will get the site uh, wheat.dev so click on the getting started this will take us to the getting started of wheat so inside wheat we can build apps using javascript as well as typescript so i'm preferring using typescript because in most of the companies uh, where you're gonna work they will ask to use typescript so we can use typescript here so we will be using react.ts otherwise you can use react.js so this is a js and this is a ts typescript so we're gonna set up using react typescript so this is a basic overview and here is the first command we have to run this is a npm create wheat at latest so we are using npm as the package manager other package manager available are yarn pnpm and bun so for yarn you can use yarn create wheat so we will go with the npm because it's very commonly used and and it's easy to find commands related to npm so we can get started with the npm create wheat at latest so click the copy button and i am coming to the terminal of vs code so here i can right click and paste it and just hit enter so now the command will run so it will ask need to install the following packages like create wheat is a package it's asking to install i will press the y uh, to confirm to proceed so it will install the package and it's asking for the name project name currently we are creating a react project using wheat this is the project name it's asking i am just giving first project so the first project we are going to build you can give whatever name you want so suppose you are building a to do app you can give the project name as to do app sometimes you are building a some portal erp software or whatever you can give the name accordingly since it's our first project i am giving first project as the project name now i need to select the framework so i already told we will be using react uh, for that I am selecting react using the arrow key in the keyboard so I have got the react and here comes different variants so I am choosing typescript react and done so done for now here you can see the project folder has been created first project is our project folder if I click and open that I can see that there are a lot of files inside this like our wheat config and most important file our package.json if I click that I can see the project details so the react project all the configurations are stored in this package json it's very very important file i'll be sharing more details about this file and here we can see dependencies react and react dom so these are the basic dependencies and many other dev dependencies uh, we will talk about these things later and okay our project has set up and next we need to uh, install the project files using npm install so for that we need to get inside our folder first so currently we are inside the react.js folder so inside react.js folder we got our first project folder so we need to firstly get inside the project folder then only we can install we can get inside the folder using cd space uh, first fi first two characters and hit the tab button then it will auto fill okay so now i am in. or you can manually type like cd space first project so if you want to go back you can hit like cd space dot dot it will take you back to the parent folder so if you want to come inside the folder you can cd space first hyphen project 
or you can just type in first two letters and hit the tab button so currently I have manually typed and just hit the enter I will come inside the folder okay currently I am inside the terminal of VS code and the path we are in is our first project so inside the terminal we are inside the our project folder now we have to start running the project commands that is a npm install so I will just copy this command and I will paste it here if I hit the npm install what happens is inside our project folder from the package JSON it will set up all the project files so there will be a node modules folder coming once I hit enter so now I have npm install command here and I am just hitting the enter key so you can see the project start in setting up it will download all the files the names of the files are written here inside the package JSON so package JSON basically contains all the project configuration details which are the supporting dependencies of packages needed to run our project so we'll be using various libraries like for example we'll be using UI libraries charts etc a lot of tools we will be using so it will come as dependencies here so eventually we will learn detail about all these things so currently you can see a node modules folder has come here our installation is still running here and once after completing the installation we need to run the project using npm run dev you can see added packages and it's done yeah okay so once this path has come that means you, we have completed and we can read here 179 packages so next we have to run the npm run dev command okay just copy this command and I'm just pasting it here if I hit the run dev command let's see our project has started at localhost 5173 so I can just copy or I can control click holding the control button I can click and it has opened here bingo our project has successfully set up and this is a v3i project running in localhost 5173 here we have a counter if I click that the count will increment we can make any modifications to this okay now I have set up the output in the right side this is our browser loaded with localhost 5173 and in left side we can see the project folder I'm closing this package JSON here bottom this is a terminal terminal is opened here it's running here if you want some other terminal you can hit the plus button here it will open a new terminal okay now I am inside the react JS only so I need to get inside the folder to run any commands if I need I like a CD space the project name is first fi and hitting the tab button so it will give the suggestion and enter so now I am inside the project folder so here I can run any any commands in future like if I want to install any new packages if I want to install tailwind CSS or whatever I can do it here and in the first terminal it's still running the project is still running and you can see the output here so come let's quickly make some changes here to our code basically we have an app.tsx this is a base file here you can see the code to store the count data so when we are incrementing the count the data is stored in here and here we have the title v plus react I'm just editing this h1 I'm just modifying this title here so I will just edit this to our app name that is our first react app so I'm just saving by control s bingo you can see our title has changed so if you want to change the count is 15 if I want to change that if the count is text here so I, I will change that score is and just hitting the save you can see score is 15 if I click score is 20 yeah like that we can easily modify our react app that's how easily we can set up a react app using wheat and okay you can give a try on your own and you can comment uh, if you have any confusions in this and let's go through the commands we have run here so far if I click the up arrow key I can see all the commands we have run first we have run the npm create wheat latest so this will download the wheat and then we need to cd into the first project folder the project we have created then I have to install using npm install next I have to run the project using npm run dow so once we run we will get our project started in localhost 5173 and then you can modify inside the app.tsx the code 
okay so that's all guys in this video in the next video i will show you how to create a basic component in react and how to apply tailwind css kind of things in the upcoming videos so hope you guys enjoyed this video do like share and subscribe this is sriraj melit signing off